I absolutely love any high flow water situation. It creates so many different fishing options. I'm gonna run you through a couple of those today probably. They're gonna be there, but it's just gonna take a little bit for you to figure it out. Gonna be some pike in here, walleye. Um, this water is really moving. This little spot in here has to hold walleye. If I lose this one, I'll lose this one. All right, soft plastic time. There we go. That's a wall, I think. Quick, quick, quick. I don't have my net set up. Oh, disaster. Oh, I lost it. That was definitely a wall, I could just tell. I knew there'd be a spot that'd be sitting in here. It was right close to the rocks here. There we go again. That's a better fish. Drag's probably a bit too tight. Could be pike. That run. I love this. This lure for two bucks has been a pretty good lure. Oh yeah, big slew shark. Well, not big, but a nice one. He's gonna go again here, I think. Oh, there it goes. Oh, they fight hard, these buggers. I'm gonna do something a bit different here. Do it easier down at the water level. Oh, there goes another pike. There we go. Nice. Pretty solid pike. Good one to start with. I'd say he's probably a 30 incher at least. Look at the color on that guy. That soft plastic worked a treat. I know there's a few more there, so let's get back into it. Nice fish. All right, buddy. Just chuck him in. Off he goes. Always check your leader after hooking a pike. Almost guaranteed to uh, scuff it up. I really should put some 30 pound on, but I'm not gonna. I think I have to cast this way a bit more. Out in the current, let it swoop around and slowly retrieve back through this little flat. Like, I, f I imagine the fish are pretty stacked up here, so as I feel if you don't get a bite straight away, you're probably a little bit too high. I find most fish do sit low in this sort of river system. You kind of have to be uh, okay to lose a bit of gear. I'm gonna let it sink to the bottom. I've gotta be careful, it must be a snag there. I think there's a rock bank. Yep, <laughs> there it is. No, I lost it, no! No! Oh, I'm devastated. Well, since I lost my favorite, we're going with the Mr. Twister double tail. So versatile. Catch a lot of fish on these, they're so good. There we go. Right, they're in close here. This guy hasn't gone yet. Oh, that's a big fish. There we go. It's not big, but it's bigger. Oh, it's not about the same size. I'm gonna try and wear this guy out a little touch. I'm gonna go the same method. I'm gonna get down here on the rocks. Oh, he's swallowed this, so I've gotta be careful. I think this is the best option. I'm gonna try and get this going quick. So I'm gonna lose my jig. Oh, got him. Beauty. Got it. There we go. Another nice one. Kind of carbon copy of the last. I'm gonna give him a quick measurement. He just smashed it. I'm gonna have to change another jig. They're just so aggressive right now, but awesome. Let's get a measurement quickly. And get him back. 28. 28 incher. Look at this guy. All right, let's get him back. Straight in, there he is, swimming away. Mangle fired. I'm actually going to switch up 
put some 30 pound on. This guy has a little stinger. Hair jig, it's gonna probably get down a bit lower and quicker, but I think that's gonna work great. It's gonna very much imitate a minnow that's in the water here. I like the idea of the stinger. I'm hoping to catch, hook him mainly on that. Oh, that looked different. Could be a pike. It's fine like a pike, but it didn't look like a pike. Oh, it could be a pike. Just got to get low enough in there. Oh, that's a walleye. That's a walleye. That's a nice walleye too. Oh, it's just on the stinger. It's just on the stinger. Come on, buddy. Just on the stinger. Nice, nice. I'm glad I went with that for the stinger as well. That's a 20 or so inch waller. 22 and a half inch waller. There we go. It's a nice fish actually. 20, 22 and a half inch waller. That hair jig just worked a treat, and these the fish are just fired up today. It's an awesome fish. Look at the head on that guy. It's one of the nicest walleye I've caught in a long time. So let's get him back. Let's go. You can see the current of the water is coming in and back around, and the fish are literally, I don't know, five meters off the bank here, just on this rock edge. Anything that gets washed down is going to get pushed through here and the fish are just picking things off. So that's working right now. It's working a treat. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, that's a decent fish. Decent fish. That's a decent run. Kind of hit me in a different spot where I haven't been hit before. A bit further back. And that's got a nice bit of weight to it. Nice bit of weight. Boy, he's gone out in the water here. Just going to tighten my drag just a touch. Need to get him back around here. I'm thinking it's a nice pike. Oh, he's going up upstream here. Try and get him back up and around here. Good, I've just, you can see I've kept my rod over this way to try and lead him back this way. He's not finished yet. I might have to try and take my opportunity here if I get one. Oh, side hook the pike. That's why he's fighting so heavy. It's gonna be ugly. Ah, yuck. I really don't want to damage this fish too much. Go on, bud. Let's try and lean him this way. His head will be facing this way. I don't want to try and drag him tail first. That's the worst thing about foul hooking a fish is when you've got their head, you can control them a lot more. If you're kind of on their body or under their gill rakers, body's probably the worst spot or tail. <laughs> I've hooked a tuna on a tail before and that took bloody forever to get in. There we go. It's probably the nicest fish of the day. They fight so hard, but look at the pattern on the guy. He's got those little ovals of silver with that green mixed in. And that predatory mouth there is just unbelievable. It's so good for these waterways. They're so good at picking anything off. And that tail, so distinctive, like a tiger. All right, let's get this guy back fight another day. See you buddy. Well that was fun. Um, wasn't expecting to catch that walleye. Nice fish, 22 and a half. Some really nice pike. Gonna go for lunch. Um, as you can see, oh they're busting up the dogs. I could sit here and fish and do this all day but I want to see what else is in the little Saskatchewan. Gonna get the Sunfire cruise down the end here 
there's a bit of a fork in the river. I'm gonna set up with some leeches and some worms, have a bit of a bite to eat, fish from the bank. The water's a bit slower going down there. So it's just a pickle rig and just relax and we'll see what else there is in this river. So here, it's gonna be interesting to see where the fish are. Thinking you can kind of see in this line here, it kind of there's a point where the flow slows down. The white bits of foam circling and stuff. I'm thinking the fish are just gonna be on either side of that. Just sitting there picking off anything that's coming through. Worm on the bottom, a couple of leeches on the top, 3-8 sinker, Paternoster walleye rig. It's gonna go straight out on the edge of the current. Or in the current, whatever it's up to you then. Oh, bites. Little, little bites, I think. Oh, missed it. They have been baited. Or weed. Is that, oh, fish is still on. Oh, jeez. That's crazy. Huh? Oh, it's a baller. Nice. Such a subtle little bite. Oh no, it's a, a sucker. Cool. I knew there were suckers in there. Front fish. Oh, 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 and he's off. Off you go, fella. You're almost there. There he goes. And that was on the worm. You can kind of see there's water rushing out this way. And on the right hand side of the bank, there's a bit of current going there, so I assume the water's kind of funneling up and the fish are sitting in between. There we go. Oh, that's a decent fish too. Oh, that's got a bit of go. I'm gonna try and get him this way. I have to be careful here. He's coming up straight at me. Could be a decent sucker. Oh, it's a big sucker. Okay. Jeez, out, out, out of there. No, that's not the way we want to go. That's the worst way to go, buddy. I'd say it's probably a 16 incher. Look at that. You can see why they call them suckers. And it's a good fight. Good fun. You can always bring your kids down, a couple worms off you go. Awesome. Let's get this guy home and catch another one. If you know there's not much weeds or structure, you can cast out and then just slowly retrieve. Um, you can often get like a fish will feel the vibration along the bottom through its lateral line. It'll come in, bit of a reaction bite and just pick at it. There we go. As I put it down. So much fun down here already. Could even be a walleye. Walleye or sucker. Hope it's a rock bass, but not likely. I want to get up on the surface here. It's a bit heavier than I thought. That's a walleye. Nice. Actually a nice eater. On the leech. They're so aggressive when they're on. Um, they're really good fun to catch. I enjoy them anyway. One of the main fish people catch around here. Oh. He's just gone. <laughs> wow, we. This. Oh, yeah, it's got a bit of weight, this fish. Oh, yep. 
think this could be staying low. It's either a real big sucker, a carp, or a walleye. Um, I mean, it could be a jack, but it hasn't done much like a jack. Oh, there it goes. Oh, there it's gone a bit crazier. Oh, it's swimming at me. Now, that was a bit more jackish. I just want to see what it is. Oh. Oh, it's heavy. It's heavy. I think it's a waller. Oh, it's everywhere. I've got to get it out from there. Get out from there. Get out from there. What are you? Oh, it's a waller. Oh, it's a nice big waller. Where's my net? Oh no, it's not. It's a catfish. And that's what it was. A nice channel cat. This spot is just been a bit of fire today, but um, there's so many different ways to catch fish, and I like this way of catching fish because you can catch so many different types of fish. Um, that's why I love bottom um, bottom bashing, I'd call it, with bait. You just can't beat it, it's so much fun. Time to get this guy back. See you, buddy.